Johannes uh, Radebe is uh, set to be, this is great news, to be reunited uh, with his Strictly Dance partner from the last series, Annabelle Croft, who was sitting where you're sitting now a few weeks ago. We loved her. You should have gone further. You were bumped out too soon. <laughs> that, the two of you. You, you know, really, you were. Not oh, the same thing here. Uh, because uh, she's going to be joining him on his UK tour, House of Jojo. Mm. Now, while they might have lit up the Strictly dance floor together, he's set to uh, get a very important new dance partner. Uh -huh. The Queen! No, <laughs> hang on a minute. Now, we, listen, we know you're looking yeah. for world domination and you're almost there. <laughs> but, frankly, you taught the Queen how to dance. You know, well, this is the thing, Randy. I'm still waiting for that phone call because I need to go <laughs> to where she resides. <laughs> it was absolutely incredible when she said, She's a fan of the show. Yes. So they come she dancing. never misses it, does she? No. That blew my mind. Was that a charitable occasion that it you were It was a charitable yes. yes. That we were, and he, she, uh, Her Majesty was invited. So it was just beautiful that... I think, for me, what, to, what took me by surprise was her gracious. Mm. Mm. She was so gracious to everybody mm. with her time. And I think I just stood there thinking, this is wonderful. And, Johannes, you know, you, you're, the story of your life, obviously, is now going to be made a movie, right? It's, obvi yeah. it's obvious when you re read your memoirs, when you, yeah. I, you know, I'm an, obviously, you know, I adore this man beyond belief. Um, <laughs> you, you knew him when you were doing Strictly. Well, yeah. can I just yeah. say, I remember walking into the tent at Elstree <laughs> and Johannes is there and you have these like check trousers on. And I honestly think you, you you're, 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 la um, you're, you're not even walking on the ground. You're like, he, he floats around <laughs> like an angel, like an ethereal being. Oh. And everybody who ever knows Johannes says, is there any... You've never met anyone like Johannes. Yeah. That's... Everybody says it. But ah. um, you're, when you think about you're standing there with the Queen and then you think about the little boy who was being mercilessly bullied yeah. uh, for being gay, for being yeah. different, for wanting to dance yeah. in South Africa back in the day... In a township. The, yeah. Yeah. The extraordinary story of your life, Johannes. It's incredible. I can't tell you I'm in a better position now I, I, than I could have ever been in my life. Mm. And when I say that, it's just with my family, my own family, our relationship is so much better. It's so much better because you can imagine there was so much misunderstanding as yeah. to how my life was going to turn out, yeah. you know? Um, and, it's, and, and it's fine, it's my life, but it's nice that I'm in a position now to speak to my uncles about my future plans, the mm. fact that I want to get married to another man, and mm -hmm. they're not faced by it because I have brought, a I've brought them along with well, me. Well, you see, that's what's so interesting about your story. I mean, I mean essentially, uh, there are some environments where it's easier to be gay than others. Yeah. And being gay, you say, a young gay in a, in a South African township is not a good environment. <laughs> no, it's not. T tell us, tell us how difficult it was. You know, I was, I was heavily bullied at school, and I always say this, that I just, I disliked school that much because I would be dunked in toilets for no reason, um, you know, and that's just how far it goes. Dance was my refuge, mm. and school I hated, so... When I was at home with my family and my friends, that's where I felt safe in the wind. That's why that place was so stifling as a young child. Yeah. And that's why I wanted just to get away. Get out. Because there was just no... I, I, just didn't, I, I just thought there must be more to life than this. And when you were being bullied in this horrible way, um, were you out at the time? Or, or, or were they just making a I mean, Richard, have you met me? Mm. <laughs> Let's see you the see? shoes, by the way. Can you, <laughs> on, get your leg up in the air, Johannes. <laughs> Show us your shoes. That's a great idea. Right. I, you know, these... I was a little bit... I was a happy boy. I was, I was yeah. quite a, you know, a happy, young, flamboyant yeah. boy. And that drew attention to me. Yes. It didn't help that I liked dancing, you know. Uh, but, you know, Johannes, um, it... You know, it, it's still an issue today. You know, in playgrounds, people still use that language in prime. Yep. I, I find it astonishing that it still happens. And when you... Um, you had a moment on Strictly where everything changed. You were given the freedom, I suppose, here yeah. to be you fully. True. Uh, and what did that change for you? Because you were in beautiful costumes, you were in heels. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a self of... Con there's, there's, a, there's a confidence that I walk with now in the world. And that, I think, strictly for giving me the platform yeah. for. But I also realised that a lot of children's life has been impacted by seeing that. I mean, representation is everything. everything. And Ranveer, we all, we, we both said this, yes. you can't be what you can't see. Exactly. So you can imagine the young boy sitting in a township. I mean, when I go home, it's the most beautiful thing to see. Okay. You've got all these kids running up to me, and they're like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> you know? And I'm just like, yeah. yeah. I'm what? glad that I can reflect that back to them. You, you were... 
just looking at Strictly there, you were incredible with Annabelle Croft because oh. when she started, I mean, she wasn't great, you know, let's be honest. <laughs> um, you know, you could tell that yeah. she was at the beginning of a journey. Mm -hmm. Boy, did you, did you take her on that journey. And as I said yeah. in the introduction there, you sh I mean, certainly in our house, and I know a lot of people I know who watched Strictly felt the same, you should have carried on. You got bumped out too soon. <laughs> but, but I didn't know this until I was reading my notes about you last uh -huh. night. You very nearly didn't do it because you'd just been bereaved. You'd lost a beloved cousin, hadn't you? Yes, sir. Obviously, Annabelle had been bereaved. She'd lost her beloved husband. Yeah. And you thought maybe that was just going to be too much grief in the room. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I, I worried about it. But it was until I met her, actually, and, and knew that this was happening. You know, you, because you are, I need, I need to work. Richard, and that's the bottom yeah, line, you know? It. And that is the sad thing about sometimes where, where we are in life, that yeah. we just are not afforded the opportunity to... No. To, to embrace, grieve. To grieve, mm. right? But tell us and about your relationship with her. I mean, obviously it's great because you're, you're yeah. going on the road together, but just tell us about what you learned about her, about Annabelle. About Annabelle, she is a phenomenal human being. I think the world needs more Annabelles. Oh. When I tell you that people thought that she needed me, I needed her. Oh, that's I beautiful. really did. And I, honestly, I felt, I felt so seen. And it did not feel like a dance competition by the third week, you know? This is a woman that wanted to do my laundry, that would cook for me every single day while I was in the process that's with her. That's lovely. So I have to say, I have found a friend for life. And London Palladium, so House of Jojo is your fantastic mm. uh, show that's yeah. coming up. Um, I've, if you follow Johannes on Instagram, you will see all the behind the scenes stuff and you in these incredible futuristic costumes, yeah. all sorts of things out. And you tell us a bit about the show quickly. It, yeah. It's aimed at bringing joy and laughter yes. and it encourages Lucky. love. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I have to say it's as camp as Christmas. Yes. <laughs> and people must yes. come dressed to the Niles. It's just going to be a fantastic evening out. Well, uh, it, uh, there's no better person to spend time with no. than you. Your company is always deeply nourishing to And I me. just loved your answer to my, <laughs> yeah. my question a couple of minutes ago when I said, and, you know, back in the township, w were you out? And you went, have you met me? <laughs> 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 Terrific answer. Yes, Great answer. we've all met yes. Johannes now. We're all better off for it, aren't we? Uh, uh, super stuff. So the tour starts? It kicks up in March. March. We are, in, we are at the Palladium on the 4th of May. 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 And then we close in Liverpool. Cool. Amazing. Right. Super stuff. Can't Thank wait you. to see you on stage. Thank you very much. <laughs>